Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Aussie Farming in Philippines. Well, the fog's lifting, it's quite good. Sunday morning, 6 a.m. So I'm going to get my fuel container, I'm going to walk up to the Sorry Sorry store and get some gas for the mower. I want to get all the goat area done before breakfast. And then I'm going to spend the day cracking corn. Being a Sunday, take it easy day. Let's see how we go. Right, gasoline is all done. Nice little walk up the shop, feel fucking good actually. Right, I want to get this done before brekkie time, so I told Ch Chick I want Sunday morning, my gay. I I have Saturday for her pick for breakfast. I have Sunday, Chick has all the rest of the week. So, I said to her, I want some of that SPC baked beans and spaghetti. She goes, that's what I wanted this morning as well. I said, oh, Dales, we think alike, don't we? Well, I wish we did. Right, I'm going to get this area done. It's so fucking long, it's incredible. So, I'll be back soon, guys. Right, that's all done. No more bloody snakes. I've got to get a feeder up this week to do up along the creek here, this side. So I mow all this one down. This was pretty long, so I had to go over it on five, then down on four. And um, this area here though, the pathway, I always cut down on number three and along the fence. So this is even shorter again. So this is an extra inch down the little pathway in the slight. Thank you. It just won't grow as fast as what over here will, if you know what I mean. And then next time I'll just mow this pathway and one strip around the edge and leave this for the goats. But the goats won't eat it when it gets up, you know. When it gets up to this stuff here, they won't eat this shit. They're not interested in it. So, best thing is just cut it all down. I miss them over there, look. Yeah, fuck it, who cares. FMD, FMD. So I got that done, I got some areas out here. The guy was cutting the, um, the grass by hand and uh, he left all the roadway in the front and I said to him, you cut all that roadway down and I'll mow it for you. So he cut it all down and it was piled up probably about a foot high, all the, all the cuttings. So yesterday when I was doing the goats, I threw a match into that and um, buff or a lighter into that, I should say, and uh, it burnt it all down. So I just went out there now and just mowed all that as well. So always look after your neighbours, be a good neighbour. You know, the biggest problems that people have in the world is fucking neighbours. You know, especially land disputes about fences and all that stuff. It's like fucking crazy fuckers, you know. Oh, well, I don't have problems here with people about fences because all the fences in our place, I've paid for the whole fucking lot. We're in Australia, you pay 50-50 with the person next door. You know, it's what you pay. But here in the Philippines, of course, they don't give a fuck if you've got a fence or not. They don't give a fuck. But uh, if you don't put the fence up, people will just walk straight in and fucking steal everything. Have a look over there, the veggies over there. I had a look yesterday afternoon when I took the goats over there. And uh, where all the beans were hanging down on one side, they're all gone, totally all gone. So someone got in there either, in a, you know, just when I left there the day before, until then, either that morning or night time, someone got in and fucking stole a lot of them. I feel sorry because then people work very hard at clearing that land, planting it all. You know, some people just don't give a fuck, you know. These lazy fuckers steal everything they fucking can. People say, oh, you're a racist. Well, how can you be a racist when you say, this is what's happening here? People have come up here, they've put in a farm with all the vegetables, they've worked their ass off every weekend. We watch them there in the high heats. We've watched them every weekend, put the veggies in, and people from the back houses over here come over and steal from them. So how can you be a racist when that's fucking, you know, like, hello? Fuck my dog, you know? 
fucking dickheads. But anyway, life is good. Well, I'm gonna close up the gates because Chick is making my spaghetti on toast for breakfast today. Oh look, the turkeys want out. So we're gonna have to, Chick asked me, when are you gonna do a kill, Will? You're gonna do one last week, you didn't do it. So no, I wasn't feeling the best. So I think Tuesday we're gonna be doing a kill. We're gonna be putting down some turkeys and some chickens. So if anyone in the local area wants some um, local um, dressed chickens and turkeys, let us know. Okay, because Tuesday is the day. Chick's putting it on Facebook for orders. And um, Tuesday will be processing day. That's a good one to look forward to. Get out the fucking machines. All right, let's go and have some brekkie. So when I started cracking corn, I started okay. And then she just jammed up again. And what had happened is where I had welded this plate, it lasts for a couple of weeks. But um, of course, being incompatible metals, it didn't last long. So I'm going to pull, got the grinder out, I'm going to cut this split pin out, I'm going to take this off and I'll see what we can do. It's just, uh, fuck it. Jesus, fuck my dog, look at this, look. Shit. Bastard. Ah, uh, there we go. I don't know how, I don't know how that's supposed to have gone in. It's those lugs. Those lugs that you sit inside those lugs. Maybe if I can build it up with washers, I'll be able to build it up with some washers in there, then put the split pin in. Maybe that will hold it. I think this hole might have got elongated. Eight elevated elephant eating elongated seaweed. Oh. Oh, what a fuck. Well, the only thing I can think of is um, get some washers and pack it, pack it full of washers and round the pin in, but it's still, I don't know what this says, 215 something, Millman, Germany. Oh, hello, this is just says Germany on the side. It's a bloody good little grinder actually, you know, it's done some fucking miles. So this is called Millman, Germany, 215 stroke, maybe W, or VV, or VY, hard to say, hard to say what it is. All right, well that's fucking corn crack and finish. So we gotta go into town anyway, chick needs, um. Chick's got to get my medication, we run out of meds. She didn't realise it and yesterday was just too busy. So we're going to rip, rip into town this morning. So I'm going to have a shower change again, another one. And um, I'll fix this when I come back, we'll go into town. Just thinking if I had a lathe, if there's a machine shop in town with a lathe with nylon, like in the Western world, they could make a sleeve up that slides over that, that will fit, fit on this and that will just take up all the weight, like a big internal wash a, a sleeve to go in there uh, bugger right guys well how's this for good luck I'm just waiting for chick to get out the shower so I can jump in so I chopped in this one here Milman Germany corn grinder and this is what's come up look at this how good is that now it says, where was it? Right, oh fuck off. Now if you look on the box there, TCM215, so that's what that 215 is there. Milman Germany 215. So that's the bastard there. Right, when Chick comes out the shower, I'll get her to order that. It's only 1,699. Standard delivery, 270. Fuck my dog. So, it's still, still under, well, we're getting change out of two grand anyway. And um, I think that is fucking beautiful. And this is the problem. See this shaft here, look, this one. This is it, that's the baby. That is the baby there. So all I'll have to do is actually, when it comes, is take that out and slide this one inside. 
and work out how they've connected this up. Right, okay, it's not all bad news after all. Right, so this one, it's got three little babies and a fourth one's just coming, so I've put it underneath the other girls. There's two girls up over there in the chicken house, so I put it under them because they don't move around. With her, she moves around, she squashes them all. So while they're still hatching out, I've stuck it under there and I've brought this one back. And now I'll just put another one back under. Hey guys, we've got some bloody good news. Some bloody good news. I checked my comments today, just now actually, while I was waiting for Chick Chick. And guess what? Mountain Man is back. Mountain Man is back. So I had a look on his channel. He only had one subscriber. I'm now number two. And I looked under these comments and he said, I was hacked, but I'm back. So, Mountain Man, big shout out for you. I'm afraid he hasn't got any videos up, guys, that I can um, put at the end screen. But just remember, a lot of people have been asking, where is Mountain Man? Because he's doing an incredible build, an incredible build. So, go to the YouTube, type in Mountain Man, and you'll see the dude there with his hat. Okay, right, we're heading to town. Let's go. Right, so here we are, downtown Panamo. The new Metro Bank's moved across the road from the corner, which is good. Used to be at a major intersection down there at the bridge. But Sundays it's very good because there's hardly anyone around. Hardly anybody around. The best thing, same with Chick and I were in the Middle East, we used to do all our shopping Friday morning nice and early because um, all the locals are all still in bed asleep because they're vampires, you know. They stay up till three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning and shit like that. And the worst thing about the Middle East is going out night time to the malls is just packed mate, I mean it is fucking packed. So what Chick and I would do, we would, would head off to the three major shopping centres and that way we would get our groceries done because what one doesn't have the other one will have and the other one will have again because that's what it was like over there, you can't get everything in one supermarket you know, you go to Carrefour you get some things, you go down to another one to get some things and you go to the other place. So we always went off in the morning, we were always back by lunchtime which of an afternoon, two o'clock, that's when you start to wake up and you know, start to come out. Four o'clock, don't drive on the fucking roads, I tell you. Crazy. But here in the Philippines on a Sunday, it's nice and quiet, it's hardly anyone around. It's quite good. Quite bloody good. Right, guys, so we're at our favourite hardware store. So if you're ever in the Panabo area, this one here on the Panabo Santa Thomas Road, that's Panabo that way, Santa Thomas this way. And this place here is, we have found, is the best. And we've used them all when we built the house. Then when this one come along, it is the one to go to. So this is what the sign looks like. Right, so what we're here for is we're going to be doing the bridge in the next two weeks. We're going to be cementing it over all that um, timber stuff that we did. So what I'm going to be doing is putting um, freebie twos on the sides and rebar all down through the center nice and solid so that that can actually go through so what we're doing hello dear hi good morning so what we're doing is we come to see um what sizes they've got what's the cost so that when we get back home we can measure it all back up again and um get it done so let's just see what we've got so we got 230 for the third mm Uh-huh. And uh, 16? 400, 400, 400, 16 or 450 years. 415, 230, and 10. 159. 159. What the fuck are you talking about? Too much about? for my brain. The prices of Okay, the all I want to know is how much is the 12? The 12 is 230. 230, all right, done. And they're six metres long, which is no problem. So we'll, we'll, I'll measure it up and I'll see how much we need. Easy done. I would like to use that big stuff, but I know that this stuff here will go okay because it's not so we're putting it a, a meter apart. This is going to be pretty close together, and like, it's only for the mower to run across like shit. You know, it's not they're going to be taking a car or anything like that. So, um, so two hundred and two thirty. Two three zero. Two three zero. Right. So there you go. So we got that. So what we'll be able to do is see. Look at this big shit, eh? But I got some good stuff here, guys, I tell you. Got some good stuff here. Very, very good. Very, very good. Okay, last stop before we go home. Always got to pop in and say hello to Mama. 
Here she is hiding inside. She loves this shop since we rebuilt it for her. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm going Hello, big dog. Hey, fat dog. This one's as big as Sam. <laughs> Seriously. And believe it or not, their cat is just as big too. <laughs> the cat is just as big. This used to be in our farmhouse. Hey, big dog. Yeah. yeah, I was amazed. The cat, cat come around the side. I said, have a look at that. Size of that fucking cat, will you? She goes, yeah, that's mama's cat. There it is there, fat cat. It's up the back. You can just see it over there. Seriously, big mother cat, man. We've got to get new signs up for Mama's store. So we'll get ordered at the same time we do the Christmas banner. And when we do the Christmas banner, what we have on that is um, Christmas um, 2020, Aussie farming in the Philippines, and um, all the kids get their photographs taken next to it with the Santa and all that. And we're going to put all the sponsors down on the side who sponsored us this year. And uh, we've got some very good surprises coming up, guys. Very good surprises. And we've got... Um, mm. We've got people coming up on one date, which I'm not going to say yet because it's too early. And they're going to be dressing up as Santa Claus. And they're bringing a whole heap of um, prezzies for the boys and for the girls with them as well. So they're coming about um, lunchtime, have lunch with us, then uh, we'll prepare for the evening for when the kiddies come. And uh, they're going to dress up as Santa Claus. We'll have our big banner up with the chairs and we take photographs of the kiddies. Then we go into town the next day, get them all developed, printed off into 5v7s or 4v7s, whatever they are. And um, the next night when the kiddies come, we give them their photo. Because there's nowhere here where they can get photos. There's no such fucking thing as going to the mall, sitting with Santa Claus and having your fucking photograph and send it to grandma and grandpa and all that shit, you know? Like fucking, how boring is that shit? So we do it anyway. We didn't do it because of the pandemic, of course, but uh, this year we're fully prepared back online again. And uh, we've got a few more surprises coming up as well. So everyone who's helping us out with that, thank you very, very much. The kids are going to really love you, bastards, I tell you. Right, time for a smoke. Right, so we told Mama we'll get all these replaced. These are the ones that Chick done on the, um, with a camera. But I said, well, it's just too much colour. You can't see the bloody, no, Carol store written on there. But um, what she's thinking of getting this one put on the roof. And Papa's thinking about doing it. So if he hasn't done it, time we get the signs made up with the kiddies ones then um, I'll make one up for her. Easy done. Put a billboard up on the roof for her. Easy done for her. No problem. All right, I'll catch you later, Mama. Bye-bye, Mum. <laughs> Mum's in the... This is like the cage, you know? It's in the cage, but she's... With this, got all the glass and the sliding door. This used to be dirt road all through here, and Mum's health used to be really bad. You know, yeah, there's always Papa, dust. Always. Yeah, always dust in here. The shelves were covered in dust. Like items in covered in dust. Hospital, Two of them. Everything was covered in dust, but now, like I say, it turned out bloody good. It was a good build. It took us two weeks to do the whole place, you know, all roof, new roofs and everything on it, the whole lot. Repaint the whole lot, inside, outside. Done every fucking thing. All right, guys, that's it. We're going to close and say ta-ta, because um, I can't do any more corn cracking, so Chick's, Chick's going to order the uh, machine. So it's only under, under two grand, so that's pretty good. And it's the same one from Germany. So you've got to be fucking happy with that. Catch you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Please share, subscribe, and like. If not, buy the bastards. See you, guys.